A jury watched and recorded police interview with officers questioning the father of a fugitive teenager now wanted for three murders. Yeah, the father, Richard Acosta Jr., is on trial for capital murder. Prosecutors say he knew his son's intentions and helped him carry out the crimes. Fox 4's Alex Boyer is following the testimony. Alex. Hi guys, you know the bulk of the testimony today really centered around forensic evidence. There was a lot of discussion and testimony about uh, cell phone records, fingerprints, as well as uh, shell casings that were collected at the crime scene. I spoke to some of the family members of the victims who say it's difficult listening to all of that testimony, but they intend to be here throughout the entirety of this capital murder trial. Body camera video played in court Wednesday shows Richard Acosta Jr. sitting in the lobby of the Garland Police Department the day after the deadly shooting. In the video, Acosta tells detectives he turned himself in after friends told him his picture was on the news, wanted in connection to the triple homicide at the Garland, Texaco on December 26, 2021. At the time, Garland police did not know his identity. Acosta was captured on store surveillance video, leaving the scene in a white pickup truck. The gunman, later identified as his 14-year-old son, Abel, was seen jumping into the back seat right after the shooting before the truck drives off. Acosta was taken into custody. He told investigators his white Dodge Ram pickup truck was in the parking lot of a Walmart. Went to the scene and located that pickup truck, and that truck was uh, seized as evidence at that time. The pickup truck was processed, a gun was found inside, but testing later revealed it was not the gun used to kill 17-year-old Rafael Garcia, 16-year-old Ivan Noyola, and 14-year-old Xavier Gonzalez. A detective testified the pickup truck had been altered after it left the crime scene. The uh, identifiable black marking on the side had been attempted to be removed. That was one of the first things I noticed when I saw the vehicle. A lead forensic investigator testified she lifted Abel Acosta's fingerprints from the inside of his dad's pickup truck and from the door of the convenience store. The left ring finger of Abel Elias Acosta. Prosecutors are trying to prove that Richard Acosta Jr. knew his son intended to shoot Garcia and Noyola that night due to a previous encounter with the duo and helped his son commit the capital murder and later escape. Él es el culpable porque él llevó Noyola's el father says he blames Richard Acosta Jr. because he drove Abel to the gas station that night. He wants justice. So does Gonzalez's family. Investigators Investigators say the 14-year-old was an innocent bystander in the wrong place at the wrong time. Right now, we are his voice, his voice, and we're here to get our justice. And this afternoon, the jury heard testimony from the medical examiners who performed the autopsies on all three of the victims. Of note, the medical examiner who performed Gonzalez's autopsy, the innocent bystander in all of this, he was shot 10 times. The prosecution is expected to rest sometime tomorrow.